I'm here with the man, Trey Mancini, the man with the, the thunder hands, <laughs> Trey Mancini. And uh, Trey, thank you for being, uh, you know, giving us this time. Oh, yeah, thanks. Just to go through your routine. Absolutely. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm here. Whatever you want to do, I, I want to see what you do to get ready. 35 placatas this year, and he's going for more. Yeah, hopefully. We'll <laughs> see. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to try. So, um, yeah, when I'm in the cage, I try to keep it. Keep it pretty simple uh, coming up through the minors and even before that I used to just take a lot of front toss swings probably way too many and and didn't really have much purpose behind them so um, as I've gotten a little older I've just kind of wanted to focus on more the detail of my work and maybe taking a few less swings but focusing on what I'm doing in the cage so um, with that being said I pretty much just do T work and then I'll crank the machine up after um, and kind of eliminated front toss or anything like that so, pretty, so those are the main simple. pretty simple so it's the main two areas I focus on it's just T and then getting some velocity coming in because yeah when you're up there in the game you know the front tosses uh, you know aren't, aren't going to translate extremely well for me at least I know a lot of guys still like doing that but um, yeah I just try to get this game cool. as game like as possible. So first the T work after you do that, then you crank up the machine. Then I crank the machine up after that. I, so. I, I can, can, let me put uh, right, some, tea, some balls of the tea for you. Sounds good. And uh, we can see that sweet swing of yours. Wait, wait, it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, yeah, so first I'll just take, uh, I'll, I'll get the short bat and um, I'll do some bottom and top hand drills. Not not too many, maybe like five to seven each, each arm. So with this, I'm just kind of, Focusing on getting, keeping my elbow in closer to my body and, and getting, all, pretty much it's more getting your hands down and in plane to, to stay through the zone longer. So um, that's why I really like this. And, and I used to not do short bat a lot, but I've, I've started to. Like that. Yeah, last year I did a lot of short bat work and, and I really like it. So I'll do some bottom hand like that. And then top hand, I kind of have a tough time because I grew up a tennis player actually. So a lot of times I want to get on there oh, top, spin top spin. Yeah, spin. yeah. So I'm always tempted to do that. but. This I'm trying to keep, you know, like I said with the other arm, get the elbow down to the hip pretty soon and get that bat in the zone and, and you know, try to keep it on plane for a long time. You still try to whip it or do you more like a push? It's almost more like a push, I'd say. Um, you know, when I was coming up and, and before, I think I'd whip it a little more and now I just kind of want to get the bat lined up and pu push it through like that a little bit. And then after that, I actually take a few swings, full swings with the short bat because okay. if um, you're staying in line, you're going to, you know, make solid contact and, and the ball will go, you know, with the trajectory you want. If you're coming out like this and, and bailing out a little bit, you'll hit a ground ball usually and the, the short bat really exposes that. You know, it's, it, it just matches so well because when I watch you hit, it, that's exactly what it seems like. I'm like, man, everything just looks so simple. It's just click and hit, click and hit. Like you load and then you hit. And exactly what you're talking about here in your routine, you keep things simple. Yeah, yeah, because when you're up at the plate, you can't be thinking too much, and, and you want to keep it as simple as possible. And my main thought is keeping everything in line, and no matter whether it's inside, outside, I want to have the same swing every time, the same path to the ball. Um, so, so that's my main focus in here. And then I'll, after I do my short bat work, I'll, you I'll go take, back to your real bat. Yeah, I go back to my real bat, and then I'll do about probably four outside. Um, four. <laughs> That was not a good See swing right there. I, <laughs> watch this, though. <laughs> yeah, so I'll do about four outside like that, and then move it to, to middle right there. See what I'm talking about? The lightning, you know, the, the thunder hands here? <laughs> and do now, that. And then I'll move it in for a few, too. So, so you move I, it from the outside? Move the outside in, and then I finish outside again. I'll take about two or three more on the outside to finish up there. Um, kind of get my body feeling like it's going that way again. Trey, and you know, I, I read in an article you were talking about aiming higher with your swing, and I thought that was interesting. And I really wanted to see if you could break it down for us, if you don't mind giving you some of your secrets. Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. Uh, so yeah, Hyder and I um, had a conversation in beginning of September last year about. We were happy with how my year was going, how I did, but we thought that I still had a little more in the tank um, from a power perspective for a guy that's considered maybe a power hitter. I hit a lot of grounders still, and, and um, we decided to maybe set my sights a little higher. So that's what I was referencing in, in a few of the articles. So what that means is usually coming up, I try to hit a line drive at the second baseman. Now I just, I'm trying to hit the batter's eye on the line, pretty much. So that's the only adjustment I made. I, you know, at this age, it's tough to make a swing overhaul and swing adjustments. And I didn't really want to do that, but even just setting my sights a little higher really helped me drive the ball better in September, I think.
it, it's amazing to me how simple you keep everything. And that's exactly what I had observed 